What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, AI Power Grid has been popping off recently and I've had these 6600s set aside for some time now. They are perfect for the Kapow algorithm. So I thought, hell, let's go ahead and build ourselves a mining rig. All right, so we're gonna build ourselves this rig. Then we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the computer. We're gonna go over AI Power Grid. I'm gonna walk you guys through installing the wallet, which is super easy. It's a core wallet, if you guys did not know. Then we're gonna talk about where you can liquidate your AI Power Grid. And finally, we're going to set up this rig in Hive OS, mining to hero miners and making us some money. All right, let's dive in. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and take a look at our case. So I've talked about this server case before on the channel several times, but this is my first green one. They were actually out of the black ones. I've, I've purchased several of these Vitret 2 cases off of Amazon before, and I love them. They work great, and you can't beat the price. $479 shipped to your door off of Amazon with Amazon Prime. I love it. There's a lot of really good other GPU mining server cases out there. Don't get me wrong. Great example, the GPU risers R8 or the OctoMiner cases. They are the Ferrari of the GPU miner server cases. But when you're looking on a budget, when you're looking to save a few bucks and you're going to go with a server case, this is the one to go with. So this one's pretty sweet. You have your adjustable fan knob on the front, power button, and four high RPM fans. Now, the nice thing about these cases is they do not have trouble with cooling. If you take a look, we have our fans in the front as our intake and our fans in the back as exhaust. And your GPUs actually sit directly inside right between these, creating a beautiful push-pull effect. Now, it does come with a 2000 watt power supply with pre-cut PCI cables. In addition to that, we have our riserless motherboard down here. It has a CPU already installed with the heatsink. I did not do any of this. It comes exactly the way you see it. We have our memory here in the back. We have an M SATA SSD hard drive, 128 gigabytes. And then we have eight slots for our PCI slots and that's it. So let's go ahead and go over the GPUs that we'll be installing today. So we have eight RX 6600s. These are AMD GPUs and they are fantastic on algorithms like Kapow, which AI Power Grid is. We also have ones out there like Clore and Narai. All of these newer, very popular altcoins that have popped off recently, 6600s have been amazing on. And they're not super expensive either, especially brand new. But in the used market, you guys can really find yourself some deals. So the bare bone basic 6600, I would say, is this Radeon right here. And this is the Radeon power color. It's a simple six pin there. It's got a very basic shroud system to it with a heat sink. And there's not even a back plate to it. This is like, you know, your bottom of the barrel budget. But guess what? It doesn't matter because this card is gonna perform as good as this one or this one or that one. So if you're just in it for mining and you're not concerned about the looks, these are perfect. Why do I have all of these? Because I've gotten these over the last year, year and a half. I've gotten them you know, back when Newegg used to do Newegg shuffles or deals were out there. I could find them and stuff like that. I've kind of accumulated these over time. So we have two of the 6600s with the power colors. Over here, this one, I love this one. I love the Sapphire Pulse editions. These cards are always amazing workhorses. Six pin as well. Does have a back plate on it, um, but is a great, really small card. I mean, the 6600s don't have to be anything crazy. Now, here's a little bit on the flip side. So this is an Asus 6600. Has a simple eight pin. By the way, I called these six pins, they're eight pins. <laughs> Much larger of a heat sink here and does have a full back plate on the back. The full size ASUS 6600s are a little bit more rare. You don't see these as often. Now we have two of the MSI 6600s as well. These are the mech editions. These are super common, uh, these editions here. These are very simple, sim super easy to come by, always available on Amazon as well. And then in the back here, we actually have the XFX. Uh, these are not as common, but a nice thing is about these cards 
is that these are always available on Amazon, uh, which is really convenient. I think I've really pulled towards Amazon with a lot of my, my GPU purchases over the last several months because their availability is always there. All right, so we got our GPU server case gone over. We got our GPUs reviewed. Let's get this rig filled up. All right, our AI power grid rig is up and running. Check that out. Came together beautifully. So in the very beginning there, we did go ahead and install our mSATA drive because, hey, it's going to be super difficult to try to do that with all these GPUs in the way. If you guys need a guide on HiveOS, I'll put one down below. I have one. It's like the ultimate guide for beginners on how to install HiveOS. I make it really, really simple. So starting at the top here, we have our Sapphire Pulse we installed. Smallest card here, closest to everything, but look at this. Look at the gap between all of these. I love it. The airflow is going to be amazing in this rig. We have our two power colors, our two XFX GPUs, our two mech MSIs, and finally our Lone Wolf down here, the ASUS. Worked out great. All of our PCI cables are cut to length, so it works out nicely. They all have a little tail there. I always like to zip tie these to get them out of the way. Plugged in with our Ethernet, one C13 to C14 on that power supply, which is nice. We see some green lights in there for our power supply. Let's come over here. We'll turn our fans all the way down before we turn it on, and let's power it up. Oh my gosh, red panda mining mistake. We forgot to turn it on. <laughs> there we go, which is great. Everything sounds like it's coming online. Let's check our fans here. Oh, wow. Let's see how we do. Woo, look at that jet engine. We'll turn that down for recording. That's awesome. All right, everything looks like it's coming up here, which is great. I love it. Let's go ahead and head over to Hive OS. All right, guys, so it took a little bit longer than I expected. I'll be entirely transparent. It didn't load into Hive OS the first time. And well, what happened? Well, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. It didn't boot up entirely. It didn't go into Hive OS. So what I did was I went ahead, pulled it out, pulled out the mSATA drive, put it back in my rig, reflashed it, and then I put the config file back on it, and bam, everything worked this time. So even things happen to us YouTubers that sometimes you just don't see on camera. Well, here we can see all eight of our 6600 are all up and ready to go. So let's dive into AI Power Grid. All right, so if you're looking to follow along and you're setting up your AI Power Grid rig or your 6600s right now, we are over at AIPowerGrid.io. And I'm gonna be entirely transparent with you guys. I don't know a ton about this project. I know how to mine it, what pool I'm gonna mine it on, how to set up the wallet, as well as where to go ahead and sell it or convert it if I'm interested. So if that's interesting to you, let's dive in. So right here on their website, AIPowerGrid.io, you can select wallets. And there's a handful of different wallets out there. You got Linux, you got Mac, and you got Windows. Taking a look here on where is AI Power Grid when it comes down to a price point. Well, it's at 60 cents right now. And you'd be like, oh, that's it, 60 cents? Let's take a look at the 30 day. 
So when we take a look at a 30 day, I mined this back a little bit longer. It was actually December 16th. And I gotta give credit where credit is due. DJ Mines actually went ahead, mentioned it to me, and we started mining this together. And it doesn't even look like this goes back far enough. It doesn't. It looks like on here, it goes back as far as December 22nd, which was 44 cents. But I started mining this on December 16th, and I had this running on 12 R um, uh, RTX. Wow, that was a hard one to get out. RTX 3070s, 12 of them. And we just crushed it. We got a nice bag of it, and then I pivoted off of it. That's what I recommend with some of these spec coins out there. But right now, look at this. Over the last month, thank you, DJ. We have some nice pumps here. Uh, it's gotten pretty dang high. It looks like here all time high was 77 cents back on January 4th. We're now down to 60 cents currently today. If we take a little bit more of a closer look at a seven day. So if you're looking to mine this, something as you as a miner think about is where can I convert it or where can I sell it? Well, you can go ahead and on Zegex, if you're interested with Zegex, you can go over there, go to markets and AI power grid is right here at the top. And so you can convert it right here on Zegax from AI power grid over to USDT, and then you could find ways to liquidate it. Or what I like to do with a lot of these spec coins is then um, trade in to other projects that I'm a little bit more confident in. Now, Zegax doesn't require KYC, and that's why I love it. So outside of that, um, we do have here on hashrate.no, when we take a look at our 6600, AI Power Grid is the top coin to be mining right now, Kapow Algorithm. Uh, right now it's making, our profit is right about 32 cents a day per GPU. So what are our next steps here? Well, we're gonna set up our wallet and then we're gonna get this thing all up and configured. If you guys liked what you saw, you're like, oh, I really like that GPU mining rig or, or I want those GPUs. They are on Amazon. So if you go over to Amazon, um, I have been buying and recommending these on Amazon for quite some time. I'll put a link to these down below. They come in the green here for the Vitretu case or the black. And as I said, it's Amazon Prime. So you see that price of $4.79 if you're in the US, it's $4.79 directly to your door. If you're interested in the 6600s that I showed off today, same thing. They're right here on Amazon. You guys can check them out. They run for $199 brand new. But I know a lot of you guys have no problems going out on Facebook Marketplace or eBay and finding them pre-owned. It's whatever you're interested in. All right, so let's not waste too much time. Let's get our 6600 rig up and running. So we're in Hive OS right now. We're gonna click wallets. And once we're in wallets, you're gonna see exactly what I'm looking at. We're gonna click add wallet and at the top, we're going to type in AIPG. Now, I've already added it before, but I deleted my wallet for today's video. That's why it's populated there. You can just type in AIPG. Next, paste in your wallet address that we just got out of our core wallet. Under your wallet name, you can go ahead and name it. I'm going to name it AIPG Core Wallet. And in the bottom right, I'm going to hit Create. Now, let's go ahead and go to our farm. Let's go to our rig, which by the way, I decided to name our rig Tyranitar. It's green, it's badass. I name all of my rigs with my kids off of Pokemon, legendary Pokemon. I thought Tyranitar would be perfect. So over here, we're gonna click flight sheets. We're gonna flight sheets in the upper right hand corner. We're going to click on the coin and go to AIPG. We're going to select our wallet. And if you click there, you're gonna see AIPG core wallet for the pool. It already has hero miners in here, which is awesome. So that's going to make life so much easier. And once that's done, perfect. We're going to pick what pools on a, uh, on hero miners that we want. Look at all the different pools they have. We're going to go ahead and pick US East and then also US West and hit apply. Now we're going to go over to miners and we have a variety of different options because this is Kapow and Kapow is, you know, the algorithm like almost all the miners support it but i am a huge fan of team red miner for all of my amd graphics cards especially for kapow so we're going to go with team red miner now down here at the bottom you can go ahead and name your flight sheet for this video let's see here let's go ahead and we're just going to do test rig and we're going to type in aipg and then i'm going to name it team red miner and we're going to hit create flight sheet let's go back over to our workers 
down to Tyranitar, click on flight sheet, and here's the flight sheet we just created. We're gonna send it to the moon. Perfect. While we wait for this apply, let's go ahead and go over to hashrate.no, and we're gonna go to GPUs. We're gonna type in 6600, and we're gonna find the 6600s there, and AI power grid, and bam, we have our overclock settings available to us. All right, so it's been a few minutes and our rig is up and running. And take a look at some of these numbers. 15 mega hash for an RX 6600. Love it right now. And look at the watts. Between 58 to 59 to 60 watts per GPU. Now, that's in the software, which is never 100% accurate within Hive OS. So take a look at the bottom. It says the total rig is 479 watts. Let me take a look real quick. We are using 667 watts, so significantly more than what HiveOS actually goes ahead and tells us here. So you wanna make sure you base all of your numbers off of what is being seen at the wall. The software, as I said, is not entirely accurate. All right, let's jump over to Hero Miners and see what we're seeing on the pool. All right, so we're over on Hero Miners. Let's go ahead and scroll down. We're gonna put our address right here in the field and press look up. It's currently still getting our hash rate. It says we're only about 74 mega hash, but we'll give it some time for sure. Uh, you can scroll down. The nice thing about Hero Miners, it gives you your daily, weekly, and monthly and projections on that rate. But I always like to give my rigs about an hour on a pool before I look at these metrics because it's going to take some time to get everything in there. But let's go ahead and go over here to uh, what to mine under uh, AI uh, PG. We're gonna go ahead and put in our hash rate of 119.4 is what we're at right now. We said 667 for our power. We'll base it off at of 10 cents here and let's go ahead and click calculate. So per day, this in total rig will make $3.62, but we're on Kapow. So it uses a lot more electric, which is $1.60 per day in electric cost, which nets us $2.02 .02 on AI power grid. All right, miners, that is going to wrap things up for today. For me, I don't have this huge commitment to AI power grid long term. I'm honestly going to go ahead and build up a small bag of it. And then everything else, I'm going to go ahead and convert and trade into other cryptocurrencies that I'm more confident on. Hopefully today's video was helpful to you. Once again, huge shout out to Hero Miners for supporting not only the channel, but the hobbyist miner community. When do you guys want to be notified when I drop my next GPU mining rig build? Well, go ahead and click that bell and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. You know quantum computers. You know blockchain. But do you know both together? Dynex was the first platform to create a neuromorphic supercomputing blockchain based algorithm which solves real world problems. And the best part? Anyone can post a job, whether a company from the Global 2000, a machine learning job, or fintech and pharmaceutical. And if you don't want to program it yourself, get an expert directly at the marketplace. Run the job and be impressed by the fast result.